Are you responsible to pay a parking ticket you received in a private parking lot, even if you did something wrong? Let's find out today from Broward County, Florida. Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is a hotly contested topic. Are you responsible for violations and parking tickets you receive on a private parking lot or in a private parking lot? And is it legal for the owners of those private establishments to even ticket you in the first place? Let me know in the comment section, pause the video, tell me if you think you know whether it's legal and whether you're responsible to pay it, and then finish watching the video to find out if you are right. Local 10 investigates a new type of parking ticket that is circulating around South Florida. Yeah, they're not from any official police agency, but threaten hefty fines if the targeted driver does not immediately pay up. So what should you do if you get one of these tickets? Local 10's Hatzel Vela reports. You're about to see what these citations look like, and they're causing such a stir that a county commissioner is stepping in, hoping to end the practice. You'll find several of them in downtown Fort Lauderdale parking lots complete with machines that make it easy for you to pay and go. The signs look similar to the city parking lot signs, but the devil's in the details, the fine print of course. A parking contract that tells you this is a privately run lot and people are complaining about getting tickets. It looks like they're legitimate city or county tickets and people then are threatened if they don't pay that it's gonna go on to their credit. This is what the citation looks like, complete with pictures of your car. The county says in the last year, they've gotten 12 complaints from people about this ongoing issue. They should not be giving out citations that look like they're from law enforcement. So Commissioner Mark Bogan is trying to put an end to this practice. Show item 48 adopted unanimously. Today, the county commission voted to end this private parking lot practice. The ordinance says it is unlawful for any person, including a parking facility operator or agent, to issue a private ticket to a motor vehicle or to the owner of any such vehicle. To me, it's a scam. It's, it's not right. It's inappropriate. And, I, and that what I'm trying to do is stop it. This one particular lot is managed by the Professional Parking Management Corporation. State records show the business is registered to Brian Oru with offices on Las Olas. Turns out when we went there, it's a postal service store where you can rent out mailboxes. So what happens if you get one of these tickets or fines? What do you tell people? Do they have to pay this fine? I tell them not to pay it. So today was first reading, which means the county commission here in Broward County will have to vote a second and final time. That is happening on October 5th. Reporting from Fort Lauderdale, I'm Hatsa Bella, Local 10 News. Okay, so here's the part I don't understand. If I own a parking lot and you park on it and you don't pay, you don't go up to the machine, you don't pay or you don't pay a person or whatever, and you're parked on my parking spot, illegally essentially you're not committing a crime but you are illegally parked on my parking lot they're saying i can't give you a ticket that's what they're saying so what's the point of even having paid parking lots because now anybody can just come and go and park as they want i guess my repercussion is i can tow your vehicle so the sign should say if you don't pay you're getting towed not that you're going to get a fine so is that how i'm supposed to interpret this because this sounds crazy if you illegally park in my parking lot i cannot ticket you all i can do is tow you so what i would have to do which doesn't make any sense is you pull into my parking lot at noon and you're there for a couple hours two three o'clock and you don't go up to the machine you don't pay you just park get out of your car start walking down the city doing your thing whatever i gotta have somebody monitoring the parking lot in order to what to uh you know check on cars every 15 minutes every 30 minutes to see if they paid pulling up their spot, pulling up their license plate to see if it's in my system. If it's not in my system, have the car towed, have an agreement with a tow truck company, I'll have the tar car towed. And then uh, the only way I recover my money is I have an agreement with the tow truck company that every truck or car that they tow on my park or out of my parking lot, um, that you know if they're charging say 150 bucks plus storage and impound, I'm gonna get you know $50 for every car they tow or something along those lines. That sounds crazy. I feel like as a private parking lot owner, 
I can do what I want with my parking lot. And if somebody illegally parks on my parking lot, I can choose to have them towed, of course, or I can send them a fine. It seems reasonable. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should the private parking lots be able to fine or just tow or how should this be handled? I'll uh, wait and see how you guys feel about it uh, down below in those comments section. As always, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Give the video a thumbs up. If you enjoy the content, make sure you're subscribed, stick around for future videos. There's a lot of cool videos down in the playlist. You can click on my video tab and sort by most popular or oldest and check them all out. I'm sure you'll enjoy them. Have a great rest of your week. Thank you for being here. Again, hit that like button. It means a lot to me and uh, I'll see everyone next time.